okay, we have a pretty tough problem here today. I think I'm gonna to try to speed integrate it just because I feel like it's, so we've got the integral from zero to pi of secant of x times natural log one plus half cosine x dx. And what I'm thinking here is with this one half in front. So what I'm thinking on this is let's just use Feynman's trick with our input being this one half here. So how I'm gonna do this, we'll set it up. I'll write it as f of t and we'll rearrange this whole thing with this being our t. So when we do this, what we're saying is our t value is gonna be one half, but what we can also use here is what's gonna happen when t is zero. When t is zero, it's gonna wipe out this and we're gonna have natural log of one. The whole thing's gonna become zero. So for our f of zero value, we know that's gonna be just a zero. So then what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and integrate with respect to t as a partial that we bring in here. I'm gonna kinda of do this quickly on the fly because this part is just gonna be a constant so I'm just gonna integrate. We have the constant that's gonna come up front. Derivative of this with respect to t is gonna be one over everything, one plus t cosine x. Then chain rule, this is a zero. Derivative here with respect to t is just gonna bring out a cosine x. But then cosine x times secant x, that's just gonna be a one. And then now at this point, this is where it gets messy because what I'm gonna do on this, this isn't that easy. On this, what I'm gonna do is let's do a virus stress substitution. And so what's gonna happen, I'm gonna just kinda of do this on the fly again. dx is gonna be two over, we'll have dt, and this is gonna become a one plus t squared. Then we'll have, oh, and I totally, and of course I shouldn't use t for my variable on the virus stress, so let's do something else. We need this to be a u, so this is gonna be, let's do this as a du over one plus u squared. Then we have one plus t. Our value for cosine is gonna be one minus u squared over one plus u squared. Then we need to clean all this up. I'll bring the two up front here. Then we distribute in the one plus u squared to the one. So we're gonna have one plus u squared plus, then this is gonna cancel with this, distribute in the t, we're gonna have t minus t u squared. But then let me rearrange everything, bringing the constants together. So we're gonna have a one plus t over here as a constant value. And then over here, this is gonna become a plus one minus t u squared. Let's take this one minus t and factor it out front of the integral. So I can write it over here like one minus t. What's gonna happen is this is gonna become a one minus t over here and this is going away. But then to set this up to integrate, what I can do is I can put this in forms, I can put this like our arctan formula, write this as the square root of this mess, all squared. Then integrating this, what you get is kind of a mess. So we're gonna have two over one minus t. Then for our arctan formula, we need to flip this. So it becomes square root one minus two, one minus, sorry, one minus t over one plus t arctan of u times this thing again, one minus t, one plus t of u. We need to evaluate from zero to pi. Now this first part here, when you simplify all this stuff, what's gonna happen is this is gonna become two over square root of one minus t squared. Then we just need to evaluate at zero and pi. And of course, what I'm realizing is when we did the virus stress, I needed to update our bounds. This was actually gonna to change to infinity. This is all gonna be infinity here. So I messed that up. So now when you evaluate this at zero, that's gonna be zero. When you evaluate infinity, it's just gonna be pi over two. Twos are gonna cancel. And so yeah, for our value of f prime of t, it's just gonna be pi over square root one minus t squared. Okay, but now at this point, what I need to do is I want to get this back to f of t because that's going to be our goal. Our goal is going to be f of one half. So if I just integrate here on both sides with respect to t, this is going to become, this is going to be known, pi is just a constant, so we have pi out front. This is just going to become arc sine of t plus c. And this is our f of t value. But we, you can now use this, this f of zero value to kind of evaluate. So f of zero, we know it's gonna be zero. We plug in zero here, we're gonna have pi, arc sine of zero, zero, plus c. Well, as it always seems to turn out, the c value is just equal to zero. So this goes away, and we have our f of t is gonna be pi, arc sine of t. So now coming back here, evaluate this thing at one half, we're gonna have f of one half is gonna be pi, arc sine of one half, Arc sine of one half, that's just gonna be pi over six. So we have pi times pi over six. For my final solution of this, we have just pi squared 
over six. And I wasn't really intending it to work out this way, but this is actually the same answer as the basil problem. So I don't, I don't know if there's some kind of connection or, or what that is, but it just happens to be pi squared over six. Anyway, pretty interesting problem, interesting result. Good one today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.